so I like the way that it all links up. But um, definitely, the the main thing is is that we want to shape that into something that's um, more functional. And like you said, like having options, like it can it can be that they just look at they, that they just learn to even like look at you, and then they might get what they want. They might be able to point, or if that's something that they can't tolerate or they can't do yet we can work with that. Um, it might be that they just vocalize, um, might be that we're using, um, a, they're just touching the picture or pointing to it, or do we wanna do a picture exchange? So the main thing is, um, as coaches here, we can, you know, depending on the individual child, we can shape that into something that um, becomes more functional. So getting away from this yes. to the child, becoming independent and eventually you know the child can come and get you either they bring you a visual or and they can come and get you from any room and be able to independently request yeah. and get frustrated yeah um anybody who's had this experience of kiddos um having this frustration moment doing um hand dragging or um crying as their main form of um, communication, pop it in the chat. We'd love to um, be able to directly address things that you're struggling with.